all, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, you're catching up with, with us at the room. Yeah, we do end up... Okay, can, what can we say? We're at conferences right now, but of course I'm busy on a tablet as well as a laptop, and then I've got my devices all plugged in. Or actually, they're being staged to be plugged in. Because right now our head is spinning with lots of new knowledge here. Yes, from the CEA, CEA industry forum, but meanwhile, news still continues because... <gasps> Are you getting your house for free? Have you heard the latest news? Well, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines. Of <laughs> so, um, <laughs> well, okay, so this one's no laughing matter, but Obama's prepared to give, oh, what was it? How many homes? Um, one, okay. forgive one trillion dollars in loans for he's, people's homes? No, he's going to, he's going to guarantee, okay, here's how it works. He's got two different things. One basically he said, and the other he's getting ready to do. One is he said, if you if you're if you not behind on your payments, he's going to make certain that you can get the very same loan that you can get from any bank to begin with to refinance your home. So that's no news. The real news is the fact that he is prepared to give everybody their homes to have the government buy all of the mortgages of the people that are in foreclosure with no credit check and no job verification, uh, which is basically pissing off a lot of people in the news business to basically read the original release. Uh -huh. So, but that that's what the government's going to do because that's, and then, uh, if you remember rightly, wasn't it what got the problem in housing? When he said, we're going to fix this problem that the Republicans are continuing to allow to happen by, uh, by refinancing homes that aren't worth anything. And Obama's getting closer to Congress approval ratings on his handling of the economy. Well, nobody likes the way he's handling the economy. They said this was just another mistake today. He goes to a home that's in foreclosure and blames it on the Republicans' refusal to pass the jobs program. Well, no, the House, they hadn't paid, they hadn't paid like a couple of years, hadn't paid the payments on the place. Well, since he become president, most of the people haven't made payments on their homes because they knew if they waited long enough, he would give them their homes for nothing. But, uh, and the Republicans didn't cause the housing bubble. It was the Democratic Party, when they were in control, threatened the, uh, the, the oil companies and forced the gasoline up to like $169 a barrel. Mm -hmm. And the people had to make a choice. Do we keep our job and buy gas, or do we risk losing a home? They decided to buy the gas, folks. And Fed debate about more easing heats up. Well, the, 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 all they can do is print more money. I mean, that this is how they're going to solve the problem in Greece and other countries in Europe. The countries that, okay, the way it works is the United States is actually doing something that's making money. We are selling printing presses to governments to print their own money so that they can print enough money to keep Greece up. Ooh, an exclusive NASDAQ hacker spied on company boards. Yeah, we're, 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 okay, if you're seeing this, we're at the CEA forum today. We're talking about how hacking is not a problem. And we're talking at the same time as said hacking not a problem. We're hearing people, yeah, well, my children hacked into the system so they could put music to heartbeats and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that piece. There's hacking is not a problem with the system, but he's already admitted his own children hacked into the system because they like the waves. Mm. Is that something? And police dog picked up scent of body and missing baby's home. The problem with cadaver dogs is is that. They're, they're, they pick up the scent of anybody that has died in the area. Basically, if you went, if you were by somebody that died, they'll pick up death. If you pick, if you happen to work in the uh, industry where you're killing animals, they pick up death. They can't differentiate between a human and anything that has died in the house or property. Mm. Mom shielding kids is shot dead outside a New York City school. Yeah, well, the, the crime is down in our country. Oh, yeah. And Cornell West, among protesters, arrested outside New York City precinct. Oh, yeah. Well, the day they basically did, okay, you know it's SEIU in charge because they went into banks today and caused problems in banks in New York City. They're now getting violent, which everyone knew the protesters were eventually going to do. Well, especially if they don't crack down on them when they were doing it before. I know. You, you basically... Bloomberg allowed him to get away with things, and now Bloomberg is paying the price for allowing mm -hmm. him to do it. And Cornell West, among the protesters, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Well, you know, it is a big deal. Um, <laughs> former South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford heads to Fox News. Well, that's where everybody heads for when they need a job. The problem is, is that, okay, Fox News can be called, you know, uh, you know part of the re-election campaign for Barack Obama because Rupert Murdoch and his son are worried about going to jail, so the FBI investigation is sort of stopped. And Rupert Murdoch and his son got re up on the board of directors at News Corp, which under no circumstances should that have ever happened. And Franco-German split over bailout fund threatens crisis plan. Well, you know, because they got, they got this weird idea, well, we're just going to print up money, and we're not, we're not going to use the money that we have in the banks because it will cause the banks to collapse. So we'll just print more money, give that to the money, and we'll let the, we'll let banks that basically are holding bad bonds take a fall for what we're doing which didn't go over well. I mean, okay, but I can guarantee our market went up today on all sorts of bad news, but that was, then after they closed, the market really got hit by bad news, folks. An earthquake in Turkey oh, it's over a, seven po over 7.0. The problem is the earthquakes in that part of the world are almost always massive and cause lots of damage because they don't build earthquake specifications. Knowing that they've had quakes there for tens of thousands of years, they still build homes out of the local building material, which doesn't work. Oh. Yeah. And U.S. grand jury indicts two men in South... Oh, but the other part about the the um, earthquake in Turkey, the some are saying that, well, it's because of what they were doing. Well, yeah, they said it was a... God is punishing them for their threats, to, uh, basically, to help destroy Israel. <laughs> well, no, but they're planning as soon... As soon as the last of our troops are gone, they're going to attack the Kurds in, you know, in northern Iraq and put an end to them, just like they did the... Uh, people conveniently forget the Armenians were massacred by the Turks. They're getting ready to do the same thing with the Kurds because they don't like people like that. And Republicans block a popular piece of the Obama's job bill. Yeah, because what they're deciding to do is to pass Obama... try to pass Obama's job... But we're only going to attack, increase the tax by seven tenths of a percent on this bill and one and a half percent on this bill it's until they get the entire bill but don't worry obama has decided to go around the effing republicans by executive order to save the I, I okay anybody remember julius caesar who became the dictator of rome he was doing it for the good of the people obama is going to use executive orders to save our nation from the republicans who basically refused to let him spend money. And U.S. grand jury indicts two men in Saudi envoy plot. Yeah, but they're going to be released because I'm, I'm I guess if it was a real plot that Obama would be giving the American Medal of Freedom to these people for getting him off the hook on the cylinder problem temporarily. Ooh, and Jobs refused cancer treatment too long, the biographer. Well, yeah, but it's going to, it, it, the problem is they can't get it's just not going to happen, no matter what they want, it's not going to happen. Yeah, is that about Stephen Jobs? Yeah. On the cancer well, treatment? Wait, okay, that's what I mean. He, 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 basically he had uh, what he did, there's a problem with you're buying aftermarket parts, is the aftermarket parts are sometimes diseased, and um, he, I think they said he replaced like was it three livers or something? Or oh, that's a lot. Yeah, you know, because he had plenty of money. But the problem is, is that but that's a lot for your body to go it's through. It's too much for his body to go through. So he basically, because he had lots of money, he tried to buy his way out of it instead of having cancer treatment. So he just waited oh. too long to do what he should have done because he had money. Message to Iran: Don't misread the U.S. departure from Iraq. That's why they give the president a twenty-one rocket salute. They read it exactly as it is. He, okay. A Democrats do two things when it comes to military. One, they start war, and the other, they run away from it. Obama, well, George Bush was planning to do this very same thing. Well, no, George Bush was planning to leave a military force behind to guard American interests. And Obama, well, Maliki wouldn't agree with, well, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference because Maliki would have done whatever we told him to do. Mm -hmm. In Saudi Arabia prepares for funeral of Crown Prince Sultan. Yeah, and uh, the next guy that's in charge is, uh, doesn't believe in women's rights, doesn't like Christians, and so forth. And he's basically he basically believes in uh, thick Muslim rules. So it's a good one. The guy is seven. The guy that died was 80 years old. 
the guy that's the next guy in line is 78 years old and, and the head of the country like must be nine, uh, uh, pushing on really yeah wow and about 130 protesters arrested at occupy chicago yeah, because uh, Chicago knows how to deal with protesters, folks. They bash heads in Chicago. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, the problem with when you know you're going to win. <laughs>